is uh, who would have thought that you could grow stuff uh, you know, in these disused tunnels? Uh, and you can hear the, uh, the underground now just as it goes past. It's, it's literally one tunnel down there. The northern line is here. In fact, this is part of the northern line. And, uh, and I've always lived in South London, so I, I knew of these tunnels uh, as a child growing up here. Uh, and, and so that, that was another draw for me to actually come and, and see these tunnels, uh, discover them, and to put them to good use. The quality of these ingredients uh, is second to none, I think, because they are going to be picked and delivered uh, you know, practically on the day. You know, and, and you can't get fresher than that. And they are truly local because they are grown here in London, in South London. We are launching our farm today. We are now in production and we will be supplying the markets within the M25 in London. And we are growing herbs and salads 100 feet under London, under Clapham. And why are we doing it? We are bringing food production back into the city. We face a lot of challenges with population growth. And obviously we have a finite, finite amount of farmland out there. So if we can find new areas for food production, that's why we're uh, growing down here in a tunnel. We've shown that you can grow in, in, in adverse environments, and, and this is underground, and with the use of agricultural technology, hydroponics and LEDs, we can grow herbs and microherbs and salads, lots of other produce as well. Um, is it a model for the future? There is definitely a movement in terms of urban growing and taking that pressure off agricultural land. And then at the same time, could we look at sort of models like this in, in a slightly different configuration, say in a shipping container, ending up in a desert or somewhere in Africa? Yes, the technology is there to achieve it. So yeah, that, that's a potential model for the future. But this is a similar kind of hydroponics and LEDs. This is what NASA are looking at for Mars in the future.